Hi, welcome back. This is episode 13 of my Child Actor Tips and Tricks. I think it's 13. Um, this week we're going to talk about who that you need to know on set. Like, who are the people on set that you can expect to talk to you and that is their job to take care of you. And that's different if you're a principal or an extra. Either way, the studio teacher is your main point of contact. If you are under 16, then there will be a studio teacher on set and they're supposed to help you with your homework or whatever else you need and they're generally, because they work with kids most often, they're generally the point of contact between minors and the rest of the crew. Um, if you're an extra, you're going to be talking with the second AD or the second second. Pretty much anybody with a walkie and an earpiece will be able to tell you what to do, but there will be a dedicated person that's in charge of extras and that's usually the second second. If you're a principal, you might talk to the second AD a bunch, or you know there will be PAs that ferry you back and forth on set. Um, if the AD talks to you, the first AD, that means that you're in trouble. This was what I learned when I was super little. Um, the AD's job is to keep everything on time and on schedule and running correctly. So I don't ever want to talk to the AD because that means we're behind or I should be doing something else. Uh, Besides the first AD and the second AD, the director's probably going to be super busy, but if it's your first time on set, or if it's his first time working with a child actor, he will probably come up and ask you how you're doing, and while you're actually filming, he'll have notes for you, or he'll help you be more comfortable, or he'll, you know, give you a new take on the line or something like that, because that's his job. But otherwise, you know, he's not somebody to bother during the rest of the day. Uh, the sound guy will probably come up and talk to you and clip a mic on you somewhere or, and I know this is super important, he'll have this big old boom above your head and it's like a mic that looks like a giant fuzzy thing and it looks like a toy. It's not a toy. Don't touch it. As much as it's super cool looking, you cannot play with it. You have to just resign yourself to the fact you cannot play with the boom. Um, the scripty, there's a script supervisor slash continuity person and they'll tell you if you have a soda if you're picking it up with your right or your left hand, they'll keep you the same take after take. And if you have help with, if you need help with lines, they'll help you with that. Um, there's a lot of people in black or you know t-shirts and jeans running around with rolls of tape on them or you know carrying big things. Those are the gaffer and the grips, and don't bother them because they're carrying things that are dangerous and pointy and important. So pretty much, if they tell you to move, you move. Um, but they will give you a mark if they're lighting you and they tell you where to stand and they give you a little T piece of tape, that's your mark. Uh, the grips used to be my favorite person on set because they had all the rolls of tape and my mom asked me, who's your favorite guy on set? Thinking, the director or, you know, the studio teacher. And I was like, the guides with all the tape because I was super excited about the colors or whatever. Um, the very last thing, most important person on set is the craft services person because they are in charge of whether or not you get to eat the whole time, except for lunch. They're the person in charge of coffee, and snacks, and donuts, and so really they're the most important person on set. I think that's about it. There's a lot of people on set. It takes a gazillion people to make a movie, uh, but those are the ones that you super need to know. Thanks. That's it.